Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So on Windows 11, if you are looking for a specific image in a folder that contains many images or files, going through all the images can be a lengthy process to preview the actual image itself. So just a quick video to show you a couple of ways how you can use file previews in Windows 11 to see an image's contents without actually opening the image. Now this is in no particular order and I would say the most common is to enable thumbnails if they aren't enabled already. So if we head to our file explorer, pictures and this is head to a folder that has a couple of images in it. As you can see there are no image previews. So what we do in this case is we head to our three dotted menu, click on options, this opens up the legacy folder options menu, click on view and yeah at the top if it isn't unchecked Uncheck always show icons, never thumbnails. Click on apply, click on OK, and there we can see we've got previews already. And something else you can do is you can just right click, go view, and you can go large icons. And if you really want to see those um, file previews or those image previews, you can go extra large, which is something I do um, on my Windows devices for the purpose of this channel, going through a whole lot of images for videos. And then Something else you can do just on a side note is you can click on details and you can actually click on each of those images to give you more details regarding that image. And if we head to our view button, we can go preview pane and you also get a slightly larger preview of the actual thumbnail image, which might be handy if you really just want to go through a lot of images without actually having to open them. And then another way you can preview images is by using Microsoft Power Toys. And Microsoft Power Toys is something I have spoken about on this channel in numerous videos. So just do a search accordingly. You, there's a lot of content. And Power Toys is maintained and developed by Microsoft over on GitHub and can be downloaded from GitHub or the Microsoft Store as an app. So once you've downloaded and installed Microsoft Power Toys, there is a utility called Peek, which is a quick and easy way to preview files. You select a file in File Explorer and press the shortcut to open the file preview. So you must enable it. And yeah, you can see that the activation shortcut is Control and Space. So once again, heading back, and if I just click on an image, and then all we do is we hit control and space on our keyboard and there's the file preview and this peak window you can resize so you can actually make this a little bit smaller if you don't want it to be too intrusive and larger if you so wish it to be larger let's just try that one more time control space and there we go so that's quite handy as well so that's just a couple of ways as mentioned enabling thumbnails selecting extra large icons, using the preview pane, and also another way is to download Power Toys and use the peak functionality. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.